Okay, so for the video surveillance specialist, you need to come here to hunting down. Now, this mission has a bit of a time limit because your main target is running away, although very slowly. So the game usually asks you to figure out where he's, where he's going and then to take him out. However, we are not going to do that because we already know where he is. However, we need to rescue our video surveillance specialist so we can get him on, onto our team. Luckily, he's not that far away. So I highly recommend you bring d along and that's really all you need. As always, bringing a sniper rifle of any kind is useful. I always bring along my tranquilizer sniper rifle because it gets me a little bit more... It's a lot silent and that way people don't re really hit you that much when you come back. So anyway... Okay, so now that we landed, we are going to head straight to the village that the game tells us to go in order to get the encryption key, but we are not going to get the encryption key because we already know where the dude is going. However, in this same village is the video surveillance specialist, so that's what we're going over here for. Now, I would highly avoid those two over there since one of them is a very heavy armor armored guy, so it's very difficult to take him out. And then there's all these guys at the very top of the hill guarding the post. Now you can climb all the way on top of this hill and take them from there, but it's really not even necessary. Now, the person we are after is... Right there, that's him. As you can see, he's really not that hard to get. However, with the time limit and trying to figure out where everybody is, it can be a little daunting. However, thanks to our tranquilizer sniper rifle, we can just do this, hit them on the legs so that they fall down at about the same time. However, this guy over here is going it's behind a wall, so we can't really do much for that. He moves just before I can get him. Luckily, we have a good enough hit that two trank rounds anywhere other than the head will basically take him out. Like that. And just like that, we are basically done by to get the specialist. There he is. Now, we can actually extract him right here for some reason, but... I'm just taking around, making sure nobody's around. And away he goes, and we are halfway done. Might as well grab these since we're here. And because we don't want these guys waking up on us, we're going to extract them anyway. You don't really have to, you're not even going to remain in this same area for a bit. And now that nobody is going to wake up and sound the alarm, we can get out of here. So, nobody nearby. Now, the place we are going is over here. He goes from this small village all the way to this outpost, going through the jungle. No, not that far, but anyway, around there is where we're going to intercept him. Right there, actually, between those two hills. Now, if you follow this guide exactly and are fast enough, and there is a mail platform right there on the right that you just saw, so if you don't have it, you can get the little invoice thing to literally mail yourself there. But anyway, we are going to head to between those two hills, where we are going to ambush him and his five guards. And we are here. 
Now we're just going to make sure there's nobody nearby and thanks to D-Dog, we know that there is nobody close enough to the spot us. So we're going to go right behind this rock over here. So we're that we're a little bit closer. And from here, we're going to be able to spot him. Now he leaves that village, so I'm just making sure he has already left or if he's still there. Now I don't really see him, which means they already left. And who do we have here? We have one of his guards. Now, he, we actually just went over him, but they are kneeling down, so they are right behind the little hill. And there he is, right there, the one without a helmet, that's him. So now, all we need to do is wait for them to get into a proper position for us to take them out. And we can do that quite literally from this little hill right here. Or this one over here, which is the one where I, I used the first time. Or the one that is behind him. So take your pick. Take your time. There's really no rush anymore. You know where everybody is. And they move very, very slowly throughout this van. Now if you wait here. And are a little patient. You can get pretty much everybody. But I'm a little impatient this time around. So I'm going to go over there to the one on the right. That's closer to them. And take him out from there. And just like that, we have e absolutely everybody. Now, we could run all the way over there and leave the hot zone, but we want to leave the savannah as we as it is, so we're just going to call in a chopper in a couple of seconds and leave the area. It's actually not that far. I believe the chopper actually lands right on top of you if you stay in that area over there. I believe. At least that's uh, what I recall doing. Yeah, here we go. I'm like, that's way too far. I am lazy. So as you can see, you can summon the chopper literally on top of where you just were. So anyway, I hope this little video was useful to you for getting your video surveillance specialist as well as completing this mission without any trouble. about this one boss and there you go s rank perfect sells no kills and your specialist is now with you